Mai că 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 mai Oh, you know he's calm, yeah? And I have you here. So, you know, when you're here, you're going to get out of here. You're going to get out of here. You're going to get out of here. So, guys, can we pray? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. We go. the creator of joy, we say thank you because there are such moments and we say thank you that uh, that's how we have started today you know, celebrating one another and uh, you know, the joy of just being together and we praise you for that as we start our fellowship we ask that the Holy Spirit may guide us may teach us and also uh, remind us of what we learn and above all, leave uh, the practical lessons that they are in your holy word. Uh, for them that are joining us online, we ask for your blessing as well. We pray that King of Kings would uh, say yes as you go through um, the book of Passover. So, uh, Karibuni san, and then I'll request that we put our phones on uh, actually silent, Kabisa Silo. Not even vibration, silent completely, so that uh, it doesn't uh, sumbua our media team. The link has been sent uh, there. We have our um, team sheets with us. They can be shared. <coughs> Lessons from the kings, and we are looking forward to this ancient wisdom for our, I mean, to apply to our modern day as you supply the hymns. You have them with you. We're sharing. We already have them. <laughs> no. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you will agree. No, this is what we'll do. Since he yeah. doesn't want to share, split that into two. Uh, say, and he said, again another. Thank you. <laughs> 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 
Bukan kita menyengat Syah, syah, syah Oh, ni hard So, someone had already requested We do him number 22, 19, and what? Before the throne of God above, I have a strong. Is what it was written? Yeah. And then this man who kept posing, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. When he breaks, I. Before the throne of God above, I have a strong and perfect plea, a great high priest whose name is love, whoever lives and pleads for me. My name is graven on his side, my name is written on his side, I know that's why in heaven star. No tongue can beat me, dance deeper. No tongue can beat me, dance deeper. When Satan tells me to despair and tells me all oh, the guilt within, upward I look and see him there. Oh, may the end of all my sin. Because the sin rest, Savior died. My sinful soul is counted free For God the just is satisfied To look on him and pardon me To look on him and pardon me Behold him there, there is a love My perfect spotless righteousness The great unchangeable I am the King of glory and of grace. At one with him I cannot die. My soul is purchased by his blood. My life is hid with Christ on high. With Christ my Savior and my God. With Christ my Savior and my God. Behold him there, there is in love. My perfect spotless righteousness, the great unchangeable I am, the King of glory and of grace. My soul is part at one with me. I cannot die. My soul is purchased by His blood. My life is hid with Christ on high. With Christ my Savior and my God. With Christ my Savior and my God. Nineteen. <laughs> when we all get to heaven. <coughs> sing, sing, the love of Jesus. Sing His mercy and His grace. Lady Lydia. <laughs> Sing the wondrous love of Jesus, sing His mercy and His grace. In the mansions bright and blessed, He will prepare for us a place. When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all see Jesus, we'll sing and show the victory. 
sing the wondrous love of Jesus, sing his mercy and his grace. In the mansions bright and blessed, he will prepare for us a place. When we all get to heaven, what a day of rejoicing that will be. When we all see Jesus, we'll sing and show the victory. While we walk the pilgrim pathway, clouds will overspread the sky. But when traveling days are over, not a shadow, not a sigh. When we all get to heaven, Yes, we learn. And can it be that I should gain an interest in the Savior's blood? Died he for me, who caused his pain? For me, who him to death pursued, amazing love, how can it be that thou, my God, should die for me? Amazing love, how can it be that thou, my God, should die for me? Start again. <laughs> and can it be that I should gain an interest in the Savior's blood? Died he for me who caused his pain, for me who him to death pursued. Amazing love, how can it be that thou, my God, should die for me? Amazing love, how can it be that thou, my God, should die for me? Tis mystery all the immortal dies. Who can explore his strange design? 
In vain the firstborn seraph died To sound the death of love divine Tis mercy on let earth adore Let angels mind him cry no more Tis mercy all it should be tis mercy. Tis akuna chorus for you. You repeat the second last verse then. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. I want to try. Tis mystery all the immortal dies who can explore his strange design. In vain, vain the first born seraph died. To sound the depths of love divine, tis mercy all let us adore. Let angels minds inquire no more. Tis mercy all let us adore. Let angels minds inquire no more. He left his father's throne above. So free, so infinite his grace. Emptied himself of all but love and bled for Adam's helpless race. Tis mercy all immense and free. For oh my God, it found out me. Tis mercy all immense and free. For all oh my God it found out me. Long my prison spirit lay, fast bound in sin and nature's night. Thine I diffused and quickening gray. I woke the dungeon flame with light. My chains fell off, my heart was free. I rose and went and followed thee. My chains fell off, my heart was free. I rose and forth and followed thee. No condemnation now I dread. Jesus and mine alive in him my living head and clothed in righteousness divine all i approach the eternal throne and claim the crown through christ my own but i approach the eternal throne and claim the throne through Christ my own. Like I said, don't worry when we learn who he is. It takes time. Yes, uh, for the first time that was well done. Eh? Again, right now, I hear you guys singing the secret place and the way it was. But the thing is, the attitude we have to our kids, you know, and our attitude is very, very positive uh, towards learning these ancient you know, words. <coughs> now, Karibuni Sana, for those that are watching us online, I don't know how, much, uh, how many are following us. I left, I left, how many? Did you watch our one day? Saizi, you watch that? Emma, Karibu? Nile, Emma, who are you? Karibu sana. Uh, Bochi, Kaukole, sound in the room. You were saying that there was no sound. Or before, I'm sure that it's okay. Karibu sana. Uh, and uh, the rest that are following us. Now, we have been doing uh, a series called Lessons from the Kings. Uh, we literally going through the book of First Samuel. We will do uh, Second Samuel. We will do uh, First and Second Kings. Uh, so that we can be able to now we get the juices and the lessons that are there uh, from the kings that led uh, the nation of Israel. And of course, uh, our take home is that wisdom and 
how it can be applied today, and especially the modern uh, young uh, person. Last week, I challenged us to continue reading the chapters and verses of the Nakwata. Today, I want to do it in a couple of different sessions. Good. The Lord is good. Hallelujah. He knows how to control. You keep his shape. On check. Read with us as we read chapter 16, 
Tolentin, Vincent Zangale Malipeni Matasikia, Kiliman Dr. Yes, Kisine and Tolentin. So that uh, then it will be a kilobo. So that next week, we get to the 18 and another. Because these chapters are a bit longer. But the interesting thing is that we store is too. So, and today we start with the anointing of uh, King David, but even as we start with the anointing of King David, we have not yet finished with Saul before, mm -hmm. because some gifts are still on Hapa, and they are very honest, so they are as soon as we continue, uh, in the sense that God has not opened it in the But the fact that uh, Saul and the King David is already preparing for someone else. Check one, two.
So, um, we are talking about ancient wisdom for modern youth. <laughs> so, guys, um, how <laughs> are we still having people online? <laughs> The red one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to go to the church. Okay, so. <laughs> but I'm going to go to the church. I'm going to go to the church. I'm 
Jemo ni man of valor eh. Now, um So, verse 6 again I will repeat. When they came, he looked on Eliab and thought, surely the Lord's anointed is before him. But the Lord Actually, I'm supposed to read from verses 18. Nimerudia sana. Asi wanani wanani changanya hapa kidogo. Tunafuata. Good from verse 18. Behold, I have seen a son of Jesse, the Bethlehemite, who is skillful in playing, aha, uh-huh, a man of valor, a man of war. Now, nilikuwa nimekuwa mapo kwa prudent. Many of the times that you have me say your speech should build. Your speech should build. Our speech should build. Hey, like whatever comes into your mouth should manzi speak life to someone else. Should, should make someone feel comforted. <laughs> Even memes zenye zina nini zitoke in a way that zina zina zijenge, si kweli? So our speech, whether it's making memes or whatever, they should. So we are told that David was prudent in his speech. A man of good presence. Which your mic? So, uh, a man of good presence, and the Lord is with him. Therefore, Saul sent messengers to Jesse and said, Send me David, your son, who is with sheep. And Jesse took a donkey laden with bread and a skin of wine, and a young goat, and sent them by David. Sent them by David his son to Saul. I, I knew you'll answer that. And, 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 and by the way, to Saul, you can do it with Saul. Okay. You can do it with Saul. He's being sent to his enemy to be. Okay? Na natumwa? Oh yes. Hatumu itu ivo, metumu na nani, ajetumu mkono mtu. By the way, tuliongeo story. Young people, we, uh, we, we, we are known to be a bit mean and, and stingy and, and giving, eh? Yeah. Verse 21. And David came to Saul, and entered his service, and Saul loved him greatly. Hello. And he became his armor bearer. And Saul sent to Jesse, saying, Let David remain in my for he has found favor in my sight. This is beautiful. I mean, I was reading, I was reading Nina Filmanze, it's so loaded, eh? It's, it's, it's so loaded. The things that you'll find, kasakazim, zinini, you know, and hidden, but nikama kiso popera ki kina 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 nini apa sinukweli. But it will sound so because you know the end. And when the harmful spirit from God was upon soul, David took the lyre and played it with his hand. So Saul was refreshed and was well. And the harmful spirit departed from him. <laughs> Jemo someone is singing the power of instrument and music. <laughs> no. That is... So now, we, we, have see, we have that scene in, um, 
in chapter 16 okay we go to another scene chapter 17 hata kama time itaisha kama tunasoma cuz mtaki kwenda kusoma home tusome it is worth the time and i hope something inaingia okay niendelea mambo mengine asome Jan, will you try? Yes, I'm Patie. Intimidation, <laughs> intimidate. Uh, yeah. Mm. Yes, Choose sir. a man for yourselves. You don't need more mm. Choose a man for yourselves and let him come down to me. If he is able to fight with me and kill me, then we will be your servants. But if I prevail against him and kill him, then you shall be our servants and servants. And the Philistines said. I defy the ranks of Israel this day. Give me a man that we may fight together. When Saul and all Israel heard these words of the Philistines, they were dismayed and greatly afraid. Mark that. They were dismayed. Eh? Now David was the son of Ephraim of Bethlehem in Judah, named Jesse, who had eight sons. In the day of Saul, the man was already old and advanced in years. The three oldest sons of Jesse had followed Saul to the battle, and the names of his three, three sons who went to the battle were Eliab, the firstborn, and next to him Abinadab, the third, and the third Shama. David was the youngest. The three eldest followed Saul. But David went back and forth from Saul to feed his father's sheep at Bethlehem. For forty days, the Philistine came forward and took his turn, morning and evening. And Jesse said to David his son, Take for your brothers an ephah, 
of this parched grain and these ten loaves and carry them quickly to the camp to your brothers. Also take these ten cheese to the commander of their thousand. See if your brothers are well and bring some token from them. Now Saul and now Saul and they and all the men of Israel were in the valley of Elah, fighting with the Philistines. And David rose early in the morning and left the ship with a keeper and took the provisions and went and went as Jesse had commanded him. And he came to the encampment as the host was going out to the battle line, shouting the war cry. And Israel and the Philistines drew up for battle army against army. And David left the things in charge of the keeper of the baggage and ran to the ranks and went and greeted his brothers. As he talked with them, behold the champion, the Philistines, the Philistine of Gath, Goliath by name, came up out of the ranks of the Philistines and spoke the same words as before, and David heard him. All the men of Israel, when they saw the man, fled from him and were much afraid. And the man of Israel said, Have you seen this man who has come up? Surely he has come up to defy Israel. And the king will enrich the man who kills him with great riches, and will give him his daughter, and make his father's house free in Israel. And David said to the men who stood by him, What shall be done for the man who kills this Philistine? and takes away the reproach from Israel. For who is this uncircumcised Philistine that he should defy the armies of the living God? Note that. Mm -hmm. And the people answered him in the same way. So shall it be done to the man who kills him. Now Eliab, his eldest brother, heard when he spoke to the men. And Eliab's anger was kindled against David. And he said, Why have you come down? With whom have you left those few sheep in the wilderness? I know your presumption and the evil of your heart, for you have come down to see the battle. And David said, What have I done now? Was it not but a word? And he turned away from him toward another, and spoke the same way, and the people answered him again as before. When the words that David spoke were heard, they repeated them before Saul, and he sent for him. And David said to Saul, Let no man's heart fail because of him. Mm -hmm, not that. Your servant will go and fight with the Philistine. And Saul said to David, You are not able to go against the Philistine to fight with him. For you are but a youth, and he has been a man of war from his youth. But David said to Saul, Your servant used to keep sheep for his father. And when there, there came a lion or a bear and took a lamb from the flock, I went after him <coughs> and struck him and delivered it out of his mouth. And if he arose against me, I caught him by his beard and struck him and killed him. Your servant has struck down both lions and bears, and this uncircumcised Philistine shall be like one of them. <laughs> For he has defied the armies of the living God. And David said, The Lord who delivered me from the paw of the lion and from the paw of the bear will deliver me from the hand of this Philistine. And Saul said to David, Go and the Lord be with you. And that Paul, and that's how the other person said, in the context. with this, 
for I have not tested them. So David put them off. Then he took his staff in his hand and chose five smooth stones from the brook and put them in his shepherd's porch. His leaf was in his hand and he approached the Philistine. And the Philistine moved forward and came near to David with his shield bearer in front of him. And when the Philistine looked and saw David, he disdained him, for he was but a youth, ruddy and handsome in appearance. <laughs> <laughs> and the Philistine said to David, Am I a dog that you come to me with sticks? And the Philistine cast David by his gods. The Philistine said to David, Come to me, and I will give your flesh to the birds of the air and to the beasts of the field. Then David said to the Philistine, You come to me with a sword, and with a spear, and with a javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. This day the Lord will deliver you into my hand, and I will strike you down and cut off your head, and I will give the dead bodies of the host of the Philistines this day to the birds of the air and to the wild beasts of the earth, that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. <laughs> okay. And that all this assembly may know that the Lord says, not with sword and spear, for the battle is the Lord, and he will give you into our hand. When the Philistine arose and came and drew near to meet David, David ran quickly toward the battle line to meet the Philistine. And David put his hand in his bag and took out a stone and slung it and struck the Philistine on his forehead. The stone sank into his forehead, and he fell on his face to the ground. <laughs> so David prevailed over the Philistine with a sling and with a stone, and struck the Philistine and killed him. There was no sword in the hand of David. Then David ran and stood over the <coughs> Philistine and took his sword and drew it out of its sheath and killed him and cut off his head with it. When the Philistine <laughs> <laughs> Philistines saw that their champion was dead, they fled. And the men of Israel and Judah rose with a shout and pursued the Philistines as far as Gath and the gates of Ekron, so that the wounded Philistines fell on the way from Sharim as far as Gath and Ekron. And the people of Israel came back from chasing the Philistines, and they plundered their camp. And uh, David took the head of the Philistine and brought it to Jerusalem, but he put his armor in his tent. As soon as Saul saw David go out against the Philistine, he said to Abner, the commander of the army, Abner, whose son is this youth? And Abner said, As your soul lives, O king, I do not know. And the king said, Inquire whose son the boy is. And as, David, and as soon as David returned from the striking down of the Philistine, Abner took him and brought him before Saul with the head of the Philistine in his hand. And Saul said to him, Whose son are you, young man? And David answered, I am the son of your servant, Jesse the Bethlehemite. Bethlehemite. Now, um, <laughs> we have... Um, we have um, four minutes kumalizia. But I have a quick one here. I think Nico, kila mtu aniangalie kindly. Phones down. 
Bible's closed. Weka simu chini na uiangalishe hivi kwa nini? Usiniibie. Iga kile ya Kalvoni aje. Niko na punch hapa nataka kuwekea poa. Now, uh, David alikuwa wangapi? Yes. mkono. Alikuwa wangapi mara moja niwa? Kwa hiyo. Niko The last born. Eh? So Shiru amepata eh kwa kwanza. <laughs> <laughs> no. No what we see that um in chapter um, 16 actually from chapter 15 16 up in and i said in the in the in the midst of uh, your woga paranoia ya 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 ya, um, ya king Saul god tells Samuel the prophet to go and anoint hey, anoint anoint a new king in first Samuel chapter 16 and uh, we see that Samuel is led by God to a man called Jesse and his family uh, eight sons after meeting seven of Jesse's sons God instructs Samuel to anoint the eighth that is the youngest son who is David to become the next king of Israel the bible says that uh, from this day forward the spirit of God was with David and he grew in strength and wisdom just recapping eh? now here we see the story switching back but in the story now switches back to king Saul and we see his mental deterioration eh like after um, David is anointed as king the story immediately in a switch to let us senior nani senior anaitwaje uh, King Saul, who is being perturbed. Eh? Yes, who is being vexed um, by the spirit that was already in him, which was not a good spirit. And um, yes, you know, it was from God. Like, you know, um, Yes, the favor of the Lord. And, 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 and this is it. Can we, you know, when we are in mental, good mental state, let me talk about common grace. Common grace has many forms. You know, even the very time you are stable, you're able to nini hithi, the very time you're able to, you know, reason and, and all that, thank the Lord. Because it is Him who makes everything work for you. Hata wale ambao wamjui Mungu usiringe udhania ati sijui uko healthy unakula nini hivi it is the lord who coordinates your nerves and your brains and you know and everything you get so this particular point now the favor of the lord had departed from and he was not in the normal state one and even in the normal state as being a king even the joy of a king and all that ilikuwa imetoka alikuwa na alikuwa na shida poa you know less people start defining you no know, <coughs> the lord has evil spirit and and, and, and and all that no let us not overthink now desperate to soothe his nerves you hear Saul ask his men to find a good musician to play for him praise be to the lord for musicians Amen. your gift <laughs> your gift means a lot to the body of christ bonus if you no providentially who has been recommended yes. and why i'm saying that it is providentially i told you highlight who is recommending servant. a servant a just a mere servant saying by the way there is a dude kuna boys <laughs> i think ni mwana huko akilisha eh ameweza and we are told that he is a man of we, we, now, as in a man of valor, so um, 
prudent in speech, man of war. handsome, man of war. Now, he had never seen David go into war. Alikuwa mm-hmm. mionea wapi? Akienda kulisha, akilisha kule and all that. I think alikuwa alikuwa tu ni mlishaji lakini alikuwa ni mlishaji alikuwa anajulikana that boy protects his sheep. Yes. So it doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter where you are my friend. Someone is watching and let people see that is that a sweeper? He is not just a sweeper. <laughs> okay? No. Is that guy the manager, the moderator? He is not just a moderator. Is he a leader? I mean, people observe, people see. And you look at the testimony that has been given. And I wonder, when he says that he had, he, he, I mean, he was prudent in speech. This is someone who had been, uh, David Elkomesikika kiongea na wanarika wenzake. Sinukweli? And he is, he anaito boy, he anaito youth. This is, this is us. This is us, friends. Elkomesikika venya na ongea. Wisdom from the kings to the modern. Eh, who boys are looking content? Na siyo content tu, content ina jenga. Skiza, so liangu ni content yako ina recommend you a king. Eh, can you be recommended to give a speech before a king? Ah, uh-uh, not just to give a speech, to soothe a king. Nikuuliza na uliza as in huna tu speech but your speech is you know your presence the way who you are i mean you are known that you can soothe you can calm down a king yes yes and manga gifts can take you in there and your character can my friend baraka ziko hapa ni masikio kidogo lakini nasikia now, so uh, providentially, in the same way that happened with baby Moses, providentially, who has been recommended, and then who came forth and was like, ah, can I get an ask for her? Huh? Yes. And then I'm just saying that it is provident, it is godly, it is divine, the way the Lord connects. Sinipoa? Um... So in provid, uh, in a providential coincidence, they recommend David, son of Jesse, and with king's permission, uh, bring the David to serve Saul as court. I mean, he's brought to serve in the court. And then one other thing he says that, and the one be a toy. He has found favor with the king. He will be feeding with the king. He will be staying with the king. Uh-huh. He will actually be composing the king's music. Hello? Hello? Manze, may the Lord find favor. I mean, may we find favor with the Lord. It is a beautiful thing. It is a beautiful thing. Um, at this point, even though he has been... Now, one other thing we learn about David. At this point, even though he has been appointed, sorry, anointed by Samuel as king, listen to this, David is dividing his time between tending sheep for his father and occasionally providing music to comfort the troubled king. Some of us are, re- are elevated and then you wake up and dudes Unapata kuna majukumu uliko nafanya manzee unaangalia you tender the fence you nini you tend the fence and all other things and then unafika mahali like i don't have time manzee uh, tulipe mtu lesson 
from the kings to the modern day youth that he was dividing his time he knows he's already and you know they knew who Samuel was they knew what was happening Saul alikuwa ameanointiwa na the same person to be king he knows who he is but even at this particular point he is still humble he is still humble may the lord man be humble us now the last one there is a calm there is a calm period at that particular point but a very real threat from the philistines is brewing that will thrust david into the spotlight and making him Saul's enemy a target for many years will come and continue from there but at this particular point he is calming down the king should i put it better he is calming down the kingdom he is taking care of the kingdom Saul is in good spirit because of this little boy this young boy now when we come next time to tendelea so that from the kulezana who is this boy i promised even a wife to him aka ka kijana manze nitapatia msichana wangu aka ka boy now we'll think about it shall we pray our father and our lord we are so grateful again Even as we continue going through uh, these lessons um, from the life of uh, King Saul your prophet Samuel your anointed king David and even the other kings that we look at we pray that Lord we may learn as much as we can so that we may glorify your name and that we may live lives that are God honoring God glorifying we pray that you will give us wisdom we repent of our sins where we have failed to express wisdom where we have failed uh, to rely on you to demonstrate like david that we can be honorable young men and women in their speech in their appearance in their dealings with um, their seniors and even prudent in the mandate and the tasks that you give us may you forgive us lord and may you instill us your spirit who will keep on reminding us and teaching us how to live in accordance to thy will as we meet again next week to continue with this we ask that your grace may be sufficient for us you all born at fort online we also ask that you may get to bless them and do them good as well for this we ask in that precious and holy name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So uh guys, thank you so so much. Wale ambao walikuwa na watch online, see you next week uh for this uh lesson, but we keep on continuing uh keep on reminding us that uh tomorrow we have prayers at um Kirema that is Kiambu Kist, opposite Kist. Um and I hope to see us there manze. Uh we we just go and dedicate our nights to the lord um it's an honor about it okay eh manzi tafadhali 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 uh please i, I want to see us all na wale ambao pia wanatufuata online um timings and everything will be communicated in the group uh by the relevant parties but let us support this and uh, i can assure you there are greater things aligned for us sinipoa So yes and also reminding us that uh, on Monday for the Bereans we have a guest with us uh itakuwa physics atakuja hapa we continue learning uh to olipia dawari kama to so that that will be the question that day to hipe na nyinyi kama tujalipa dawari ama tufanye nini is it okay to sima member of church we take those vows am i is it okay to just have blessings from my parents and continue Hello hello see you there on Monday on Sunday of course we are still here continuing the normal uh program and then i'm told that queens kuna program on Saturday at 2 to 
uh, Rev. Pauline will be with you. Na. And I'm baby dancing kids. And I hope Zita Kua decent. So, uh, Sinipua, you insist on that, eh? Yeah. Okay, Pua. So, guys, Kua He Rini, see you next time. <laughs> oh, we say the grace. Uh, Gitonga, lead us through the grace. Of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Kindly, uh, yes, everyone have a lovely night. Tuambio kitoka online, please. Tunagoje, tunapanya kwa hili? Until to talk. Tuko sawa jemu?